Hello, hello, and welcome to Behind the Scenes for March. If you're as excited as I am, then you're going to enjoy this video because there's a lot of goddamn good updates coming this month. So, first of all, Clan Fealty. Not particularly bothered about this myself, but basically, uh, you'll be able to gain access to new Clan Fealty capes, which will earn more XP when contributing to Clan resources, granting weekly XP lamps to those who are truly dedicated. They'll also make, uh, well, they've also made it so that clan leaders can keep an eye on who's contributing and who's slacking. So that should be pretty nice for any clan leaders. And swiftly moving on, because I have nothing to say about that. Uh, bonus XP weekend is happening this month on the 16th of March, which is two weeks tomorrow, which is a Friday. So that'll be lasting all weekend. And, well, you all know what the bonus XP weekend involves, so I'll just move straight on. Alright, here's one of the most interesting bits. 200 pieces of combat equipment are being reworked visually. So, first of all, Warriors uh, will see new sets being... Well, not new sets, but... Uh, sets ranging from Black all the way up to Dragon, and including Torva and Bandos, they'll all get visually reworked. And there's also going to be new looks for the Warrior Helm, Berserker Helm, and Nyatis Knot Helms, as well as Fighter Torsos and the Varrock Plate Body. Just for a little image of the dragon, because that's all we've got. The, here's the dragon now. It looks pretty nice, and those wings are just uh, one of the auras, so the, they don't come with the armor, obviously. <laughs> anyway... Next bit, Rangers get studded leather, regular and blessed dragon hide and armadil sets as well as Robin Hood hat and Ava's accumulator and Ava's alerter reworks. So here to the right you'll be able to see the dragon hide sets. Uh, this I believe is all of the sets so to the right is just plain green dragon hide and then across the top here you'll be able to see Black dragon hide, red dragon hide, and all the trimmed dragon hides as well. They look pretty damn nice. And on the bottom row along here, you'll be able to see the blessed sets, such as Zaros, Bandos, Zamorak, Saradomin, which looks kind of silly, um, Armadil, and Guthix, which looks very similar to normal green dragon hide, but whatever. Those look pretty damn good, as I've already said about ten times, so... Moving on, Mage Gear updated includes Mystic Robes, Enchanted Robes, Infinity Robes, and Zuriel sets. So let's take a quick look at Mystic. Uh, looks pretty good in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's a case of less is more because the current robes are a bit big and stupid and silly looking. So uh, they've been slimmed down a bit, I think. Uh, nice long cloak at the back which looks pretty good. Uh, nice little hood there instead of a stupid hat. And the female version also looks quite good. Uh, there's a sleeveless thing going on right here as well with the silk sort of, uh, I don't know what to call it, forearms I guess. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Looking forward to seeing all those. And there's also going to be a rework to Void Knight gear and the Slayer helmet. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Now, loyalty rewards. There's going to be tier 4 versions of existing auras, as well as a Guthix-themed winged aura, as well as several new emotes. There's going to be a Rufflecopter emote, guys. How can you not be excited for that? And there's going to be an aura that speeds up special attack recovery, and new race costumes, as displayed to the right here. I'll just have a look at that in a second. Uh, new race costumes to let you look like an elf or a werewolf. So this is the werewolf costumes. Any fans of Twilight, first of all, get the fuck off this video. Second of all, they look pretty cool, actually. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to spend my points on that, but that's just me. If you want to look like a werewolf, it does look pretty badass. So anyway, next up is pretty damn interesting. The 
I'm not quite sure how to say this, so please forgive me if I, if I say it wrong, but I think it's Bacriminel bolts. Basically, there's going to be bloodwood trees around the wilderness, and the wilderness only. Uh, you'll be able to cut down these trees and fletch them into, well, Bacriminel bolts, which will require 80 ranged and have a range strength bonus of 125. When you use them against mages in PvP, uh, they'll have different benefits and special attacks depending on where you aim. So you'll be able to aim for the head, the torso, or the legs. I'm just going to go out on a guess here and say that if you aim for the heads, you might be able to sort of disorient them, maybe reduce the magic level, uh, reduce their accuracy, or something like that. Uh, for the torso, all I can really think of is maybe you could aim for a, like a weak spot in the robes or armor, but robes are quite weak anyway, so I, I don't know. Or it might be some kind of bleed effect which does damage over time which cannot be prevented. Like uh, It sort of works how poison works, it sort of slowly does it over time, but obviously you won't be able to cure uh, a wound with a poison potion obviously but uh, for the legs I'm just gonna guess that it'll be some kind of uh, run reduce energy uh, type deal or maybe like a bow last way you can sort of I don't know root them I guess uh, it'll require 85 wood cutting and 93 fletching to make these and cut them down so they are pretty high levels, but then again, wood cutting and fletching aren't particularly hard, so we should see plenty of them coming into the game. Uh, I don't think they'll be particularly expensive, but it's good to see another resource that's wilderness only, and will be quite valuable, I hope. So, I'm glad Jagex have uh, decided to do something like that. Uh, let's see if there's an image for this. Uh, yes, there is in fact an image for the person who appears uh, in Edgeville um, called Mammy Rimba I've, I've no idea what that's referring to but anyway uh, next up is the Gnome re Graphical Reworks I'll just take a look at this concept art right here it's uh, obviously a drawing not a screenshot it's to me it looks like there's going to be sort of more lighting effects um, this looks like the tree gnome stronghold to me, but I can't really tell. For all I know, it could be the tree gnome village, but it's just the layout of these uh, platforms that sort of reminds me of the tree gnome stronghold. It looks pretty nice. Um, obviously, because it's a drawing, I can't really tell what the textures and such are going to look like in game, so it doesn't look really different to me. All I can really tell is the lighting, as I said. But who knows? It should look pretty good. It's been a while since the gnomes got some love. Anyway, next up, transportation and navigation. These are going to work like home teleports, and they are magical gate stones, uh, which will be placed in places such as Edgeville and Luna Isle. There's not going to be any level requirements to use them. But each gate stone has to be discovered first in order to access it from the home teleport menu. So it's going to be another free teleport. I don't think it was t really necessary, but seeing as though you can teleport to Edgeville for free without having to be on Ancient Magics, that should be pretty nice for me. But uh, I don't think it was necessary, but it's because there's already a lot of teleports around and many ways to get around RuneScape uh, but it should make it easier for skillers and lower levels so I, I suppose that's a welcome change last thing on the list is Mauritania task set and the early bird bonus that comes with that uh, tasks will include things like making snelms, activating the Draken's Medallion, I guess, which is from the Branches of Darkmire quest. Uh, slaying the Barrows Whites. I'm not quite sure what that means, but I'm guessing it means you have to do a Barrows run or something like that. And you'll have to 
I'm guessing that this one's for the elite tasks, but you have to make your own prayer renewal potion, so uh, nothing particularly spectacular in the way of tasks, but the reward is new leg armor, which will apparently reduce your prayer being drained in barrows, uh, it'll increase your temple tracking rewards, it'll increase your mushroom yields from patches, uh, which will lead sort of to do with farming, I guess, or it could also increase uh, the amount of Mortmire fungus you get from the blessed sickle. That's just a speculation on my part. Feel free to call me out on that, but whatever. And you'll also get XP lamps up to 150k if you. I'm guessing that's if you do all the elite tasks as well. Um, if you do the easy and medium tasks within the first two weeks that this comes out then you'll get an early bird bonus of 15k xp for any skill so that's pretty cool pretty pretty cool I'm looking forward to that for free xp and dungeoneering for me uh, just another look at this dragon armor it looks pretty damn sexy I'm looking forward to seeing that not anything else apart from that I was personally hoping for an FPS fix as everyone else is but it seems uh, that's still an ongoing thing, so I'm really looking forward to this dragon hide thing, though. It's no, oh, just just look at that and tell me you're not impressed. That looks pretty cool, except the Saradomin set. That looks stupid, but yeah. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. So I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and uh, subscribe if you're not a noob. <laughs>